everybody thanks for joining me today on my channel my name is Chris with Kristen's crafts and today I am bringing you the fifth and final process video for our April build a page series and to wrap up our bingo challenge I'm going to be using the middle column which is sequence wood veneer uh, free space l-shaped design and I'll think of oh uh, butterflies so I am going and going to start out with getting my um, L-shaped design made. So I'm taking and I'm going to use the background paper that's yellow that says sunshine across it. And that's going to be, I'm going to use that as my base. And then I took the other paper and cut two four by four strips. And then I cut them down to 10 inches long and then did a fishtail banner on each. And I'm going to actually flip my L and have it up at the top versus down at the bottom like um, most everyone else does. Um, just going to give it a little bit of a different interest. And, um, you know, as you're reading a book, you always start at the top and go to the left. So um, that does, even though it's only one picture, it does bring the, the picture into focus. So now that I have the base done and I have double matted my photos, I'm just going to start looking at all the embellishments that I have and start building my clusters. Now one of the things I noticed is that with this L-shaped design it kind of is lacking a little bit of a third um, spot to actually build those clusters. So I'm just going to go ahead and add two more fishtail banners in the colors of the matting of the photo and that's just going to give me a third place to add my embellishments. So I'm using the word chill is my title and then i liked how the pine or the palm trees kind of nestled into the l so i switched them over i grabbed a label sticker that i had that said property of and i'm going to cover that up but i'm going to just use that for building my next layer and just kind of moving things around i have the big sunglasses at the bottom along with one of the palm trees and then I grabbed the flamingo and a couple more word strips. I'm starting to build across with like the swimming suit. And um, I am like how it looks, so I'm going to go ahead and commit to it and add my adhesive. Now the um, that little uh, label that says um, soak up the sun, I am going to have to add a um, foam dot underneath it since it's sitting on top of the chipboard. And so you're just going to see me fussing around um, looking to see where I like everything. So I decided that that flamingo needed a little bit of um, greenery behind it. I'm happy with the other palm leaf being at the bottom, but I'm going to switch it around so that it's sitting, the flamingo sitting on top of that and tuck the camera down below. Then I have the nestled those sunglasses up so it all looks like it's touching. Here I added that foam dot into it and um, you can see I have like the swimming suit and the SPF over on the left hand side. And um, let me see what else am I adding. Oh, and then I realized I needed wood veneer. I had almost finished my whole layout and I'm like, oh wait, wood veneer. So I grabbed these blue uh, flip flops and I'm gonna stick those in. And I decided not to use the one sunglasses um, that I had down there and traded that off for a pool. Since I'm sitting in front of the pool and you wear your flip-flops to the pool, it made sense to me. And then I grabbed this wood veneer um, that is a um, painted yellow sun. I have that at the top. Now I grabbed the little sunglasses and put them over onto the left-hand little cluster. And now the next thing I need to make sure I have on my layout is the butterflies. So I grabbed all three pink ones. The, I thought the colors matched really good. And I'm just throwing one in each of the three clusters. And then the last thing to make my bingo is I needed um, enamel dots or something. And then I remembered I had the sequence from the shaker pocket yesterday. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Spiegel Mom Scraps um, sequence um, I've, it's called ice castle and i'm just going to put a couple in each of the clusters to act as my enamel dots they work great for that and they add a little bit of shimmer and kind of reminding me of pool water 
And that is going to be it for my layout. So I want to thank you guys. Oh, no, I take it back. I'm going to do a little doodly border around the outside edge as well. So I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out my channel all month or yeah, all month, all week. And also make sure that you check out Christy over on her channel, Jen, who is Kay's mom. And we have Shannon, who is She's Crafty, myself, Moira O'Reilly. And then over on um, Instagram is Sheila, who is Scotian Scrapbooker. Um, we all played along this month, and it was kind of neat to see how each of us approached the bingos and what items we used. And I really had a lot of fun this month with this little bit of a challenge. Now, after I did the dually border going around, I felt like the banners needed a little assistance and pop as well. So I went ahead and outlined those as well. Um, thanks again for checking everything out and stop back again on my channel. And hopefully I'll get a couple more layouts in here before the month is over. Have a great day and we'll see you later. Bye.